most recently launched the Intel 4th Gen Xeon uh, microprocessors and, you know, codenamed Sapphire Rapids. And again, it's, a, it's one of those revolutionary moments uh, in terms of building really a world-class product. And what really excites me about the product is the fact that it is really built for the real-time workloads that customers use, right? Because the product is designed to ensure that your workloads, which is the most critical for you, whether it's in AI or analytics or HPC or any of the key areas that is most important for your organization, where you take those workloads and you solve your customers' biggest challenges, you need a processor that is purpose-built for that. And the Intel 4th Gen Xeon is, is exactly that, where it's really tailored and purpose-built for real-time workloads that you use. Now, apart from being, you know, performance and being best in class there, it's also one of the most sustainable products that we have built. Uh, not just the way we manufacture the product, but really giving you the choice where you can go back and dial, you know, up and down the performance versus the power equation that you need within your environment and manage towards your sustainability goal. So these are a couple of things that really excites me about this product. When you really look out there in the market and the products that we have today, I think this is probably one of those key products that is truly purpose-built based on what the customer's real workloads are. I think that's the first step that, that makes this really stand out in that environment. The second piece that also excites is that you have, you know, the, the Sapphire Rapids, but if you have a high bandwidth memory requirement for especially HPC areas, you have an option there. Plus, we also have the Mac CPU, GPU that is launched, which is really gives customers that, that diverse breadth of choice that is required to run their modern workloads. Now, we also have the One API uh, software management tools and systems that, that really helps you go and manage these diverse architectures within your data center or within your infrastructure environment. So I think these are the key powerful elements that really stand out. Plus, I also mentioned the sustainability angle. I think it is so important that as data centers become really massive and large, it is so important that we really have the choice where the customer can manage the power versus performance requirements. And that's something that really comes out in these processes as well. probably start off by saying is that we're all lucky to be in India at this point in time because uh, I just think it is such a massive opportunity that's in front of us. Uh, I mean the pandemic on one end gave us a lot of uh, pain and loss but on the other end it just leapfrogged uh, everything that the country has in terms of digital infrastructure. I was so surprised I'm coming back after almost two decades of being away but you come back here you see everything has got an app. We are very excited because I think there is, you know, when you look at Intel, there's a compelling vision that our CEO, Pat Gelsinger, has brought in to go and deliver to the future of the world. But there's also a compelling vision that we have in India where we truly think that this is also a moment for India to be material India to become impactful in many aspects of technology that we can bring to the world. So I think it's, it's, it's two key areas that comes together that creates magic and you know this is the best place for talent that we can find. Out.